The results are in. The race for Boise's top spot is over, and incumbent Mayor David Beter will start his fourth consecutive term. Kelsey McFarland tells us about his upcoming priorities. She is live this morning at City Hall. With nearly 70% of the vote and two other candidates on the ballot, Mayor David Beter wins his, he easily wins his seat in City Hall for a fourth time. It's rare in any, in any political job, uh, so this is special. With the win over Judy Peavy Durr and Seth Holden, the stage is now set for Beter to become the longest serving mayor in Boise's history. At last night's viewing party on the Basque Block, the Boise native recognized the landmark. It is such a privilege to be the mayor of your hometown, and uh, but to be the longest serving one is a, is a huge thing. And I, uh, I've tried to, to approach it that way, that every day is a privilege to serve, and uh, I want to continue to do that, and now it looks like I get a chance to. Beter says one of his priorities this term will include public transportation. We need to either convince the legislature to give us the authority to go to our voters and ask them to approve uh, at least a, a half, you know, a half a cent or a cent of sales tax. He also says Boise should come up with a way to deal with homelessness, and the city is already working hard on that. Now, David, Mayor David Beter also mentioned wanting to get a new main public library for the city. He's been Boise's mayor since his induction in 2003. Reporting live in Boise, Kelsey McFarland, KBY2 News. All right, thank you, Kelsey, for that live report. Judy P.V. Durr also ran for Boise's top spot. She says she wanted to give the city an alternative to a long-serving mayor. While the numbers didn't play out in her favor, P.V. Durr says she's proud of her campaign. She says it gave her a chance to connect with the people of Boise. We did a grassroots campaign, and so we went to the people, and we talked to them, and we did a lot of door-to-door. -door. We did a lot of work on the Internet. And uh, we answered a lot of questions. It's been to the people. It's the grassroots. PV Durr currently serves as secretary for the Greater Boise Auditorium District. And here's a look at other mayor mayoral races in the Treasure Valley. The City of Eagles mayor was unseated last night. Stan Ridgway defeated incumbent Jim Reynolds by more than 20%. Ridgway coming in with 61% of the votes. Reynolds, 39%. And in the race for Stars Mayor, Chad Bell defeated incumbent Mayor Nathan Mitchell 63-37. And incumbent Darren Taylor will serve another term as Middleton's mayor. He beat Jim Tank Taylor by a 26% margin with 63% uh, of the votes. And new CUNA Mayor Joe Steer won 91% of the votes. Competitor Ernie Terrell had 9%. And in Meridian, incumbent Tammy DeVeard will serve another term. She captured 78% of the votes. Monty Palmer came in second with 18%.